Canada. The Dow has not hit this high since February. For the, third day, for the third day this week, new highs for the other indices as well. The Dow finishing up 60 points, closing at 26,124. The S&P 500 up 16, ending the day at 2914. The Nasdaq up 79 points, finished at 8,109. Market analysis now from Megan Higgins. She's with Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts, and she's in the newsroom tonight. Hi, Megan. Hi, Brian. What were the numbers, what the investors looking at to push these numbers today? Well, Brian, today the tech sector led the charge with Amazon and Apple both hitting record highs. And Amazon is the second company behind Apple that will hit $1 trillion market value, which is incredible. Markets also trended higher today because investors are feeling optimistic about the future fate of trade policy. And the U.S., as we know, struck a deal with Mexico earlier this week in the bilateral talks today between Trump and Canada had a positive tone. And today's market moves were also supported by GDP revision, which looked really strong. All right, let's talk specifically about that. What was the revision? What's the number we're looking at? The number we're looking at is 4.2%. That was revised higher. Um, analysts are happy about that. The big bright spot to take away here is that it had the strongest pace of economic growth in over four years. And the revision was primarily due from stronger business investment and a rebound in consumer spending. And in our consumer-driven economy, we like the sound of that. Now, let's talk about pending home sales. They've been having trouble gaining traction, but we've been kind of talking about home sales trending downward for the last, I think, month or so. That's right. For the month of July, unfortunately, pending home sales continue to trend downward. They fell around 0.7%. And the reason for that is affordability still remains an issue as higher home prices and rising mortgage rates continue to restrain the prospective buyer market. And there's a huge disparity in the housing market right now. Home values have nearly doubled, while the pace of average wage growth is staying very stagnant. Something's definitely got to give here, but there is good, good news for our New England viewers. Pending home sales are up 1% in the Northeast, so that's indicating that the seller's market here in the Northeast is still alive and well. So good news if you're a seller, not so much if you're a buyer. Let's talk that's sporting right. goods. Dick's Sporting Goods, one of the few big retailers still left, they recorded, reported second quarter earnings today. What'd they show? For the second quarter, Dick's Sporting Goods unfortunately um, realized 4% drop in their same store sales. And where that primarily came from is their Under Armour apparel. It dragged down their sales. The company reported that, unfortunately, um, Under Armour has made a deal to strike and um, promote their products in other stores, and that's huge competition for Dick's. Kohl's will now be featuring Under Armour apparel. However, that being said, Dick's CEO, Edward Stack, he stated that the core business is still strong. There haven't been any core fundamental changes in the company and that these headwinds are looked at as transitory. Interesting that he would say the core business remains strong considering brick and mortar retail doesn't do that well fighting up against Amazon these days. Why is he optimistic about that? That's right, Brian. Despite their sluggish sales, uh, they're, they're known to be the store that consumers rely on to shop. In, in the store to make sure a product fits like a glove rather than buying online. Dick continues to grow in that competitive retail space, not only because of the inventory that they carry, but they're also expanding and opening more stores. And they've really benefited from competitors such as uh, Sports Authority that realized bankruptcy last year, but that doesn't mean they can avoid the competition against Amazon forever. Yeah, and City Sports went down uh, in the, the Boston area not long ago. All right, Megan Higgins, Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks. Thanks, Brian.